Hi and welcome along to AFTV Transfer Daily, the show that keeps you up to date with players that have been linked with a summer transfer move to Arsenal. Check out this setting here. Hollywood style. We're here in Los Angeles and I'll tell you what, it's what, half ten at night, hot, poolside, the drinks are inside. Hey, I'll tell you what, I don't even want to do no transfers right now. I'm only joking, I'm only joking. I've got the transfers for you. Now, first of all, Gonzalo Higuain, gone, done, dusted, dreams of Arsenal getting Gonzalo Higuain are all over, he's officially joined Juventus for £79.5 million, a lot of money Juventus have paid for him but they've got their man, uh, of course it looks like they're going to be selling uh, Pogba to either Man United or possibly Real Madrid and by the way, go over to the Man Like Robbie channel. Got a video on that. Um, might not be going to Man United, but um, they've got their man, Gonzalo Higuain. That's all that matters for Arsenal fans. And that means that that's another major player that Arsenal were very interested in that we're not going to be seeing playing at Arsenal. Definitely move from Napoli to Juventus. So Gonzalo Higuain has gone. So who is that striker going to be? We know we need a striker. Who is it going to be? When well, news came today about Alexander Lacazette, news that Arsenal have bid or had made a bid for Alexander Lacazette, and that came from Leon itself. Uh, they put something out today that said that Arsenal actually bid £29.3 million for him earlier on in the summer and they turned it down. West Ham then came in with a bid of £32 million and they turned it down. And Leon are still adamant that he's not for sale. But Daily Mirror today reporting that they think that Leon will sell him for £40 million. Leon, to me, look like what they're playing a very smart game here. What they're basically saying is, if you want him, Arsenal, you're going to have to pay big money. £29 million, 32, 35 is not going to get him. It's probably going to be about £45 million. That is going to be the price for Alexander Lacazette. Take it or leave it, because if he stays at Leon, we've got Champions League football... And we don't really want to sell him. But if we are going to sell him, it's going to be big money. And if Arsenal want to get this guy, they're going to have to pay the dollars. It's simple as that. Now, it's interesting that Leon said that they put this bid in earlier on in the summer, but they haven't come back yet with another bid. I don't know what Arsenal are waiting for. Get in there with the 40 million, put it on the table, get the deal done. You're interested in the play. You're going to have to pay over the odds if we want this player. Um, if we don't, we're not going to get him. You can see, as I just said with the Higuain thing, Juventus have had to pay over the odds, but they've got their man. You know, if we want our man, we're going to have to do that as well. We're going to have to pay over the odds to get this deal done. But uh, very interesting to know that Arsenal did put in a bid, but the bid is not enough. Are Arsenal going to go back with a bigger bid? That is something we're going to have to wait and see and see what happens. But the Lacazette thing still rumbles on. Also today, uh, news of a player. This one just came out of the blue. <laughs> um, the name of the player is Wissam Ben Yedda. Yeah. <laughs> I hadn't really heard much about this guy until today. But Wissam Ben Yedda, he plays for Toulouse, uh, 25 years of age. He scored 17 goals in 35 appearances last season. He's a striker. Uh, Toulouse apparently want about £8 million for him, according to Canal One. And uh, Sevilla interested in him. Spurs were interested in him. And we're being told that Arsenal are interested in him. Even some papers suggesting that Arsenal are about to move and try and bring him in. Now, I'm not being funny, but it's not the sort of player again that's going to excite Arsenal fans. Lacazette will get fans excited, will be like wow this guy great goal scoring record, this guy 17 goals last season that's a decent goal scoring record but is he better than Giroud? Is he going to be any better than Giroud? You know it, it, these sort of players being linked just seems to me like panic buying. I mean listen it could be a gem we didn't know who Maris was. This, Maris was last season, did we? we? We didn't know who he was when Leicester bought him for £400,000. We didn't know who Kante was. And now these guys are 
players that are going for millions and millions of pounds. But it's not getting me off my seat right now. Ben Yedda, um, I don't know what you guys think, but definitely not getting me off my seat. But Arsenal heavily linked with him and it seems like he's a possible alternative if we can't get Alexander Lacazette and it worries me. Um, another player that we've been linked to today is Hesse. Hesse Rodriguez, who plays for Real Madrid, uh, 23 years of age, a striker, very, very talented player. Now, we've been told that uh, Real Madrid will be prepared to sell him according to Marca, the publication over there in Spain. They'd be prepared to sell him because um, now they've bought back Alvaro Morata. Of course, they've got Benzema, they've got Bale, they've got, you know, Ronaldo. So, they're saying that Hesse may not get much game time and they'd be prepared to sell him. He's a very, very good player, this guy, actually. is the sort of player that possibly could go somewhere else and flourish. And, again, maybe not the signing to get us all excited, but, you know, he is a very talented player. But being linked with Arsenal today, again, is this the sort of player that Arsenal need? Is it an upgrade on Giroud? It's not an upgrade. He's more of an up-and-coming player. I don't know. The striker thing at the moment seems a bit of a mess, as I've been saying. It looks to me like Lacazette is there. Arsenal need to put the money on the table and get the deal done. But is that the Arsenal way? Do we do that? Do we go over the odds? Or do we stick to strictly to the valuation of the player? That's how we seem to have done things in the past. We're going to have to wait and see what happens. Um... I'm over here in LA at the moment, looking forward to um, tomorrow. I'm going to be traveling over to San Francisco. I'm um, ready for the game over there in San Jose. If you're in the area, make sure you come and check us out. Um, we're going to be covering all of those games. Also, don't forget to check out the Arsenal Fan TV vlog. We're doing a vlog every single day of our trip over here in California. And so far, the hospitality has been brilliant. Got to say a big thank you so far to Steve Manios. He's really been looking after me. Um, but that's... AFTV Transfer Daily for now. Um, I'm about to jump in the pool, cool off after all this transfer news.